this video may contain minor parts of violence, dirty language, and many shenanigans. Your discretion is in voice. Day 35, I think. Something like that. 35, 36. Who the hell knows? Um, we decided to hang out down the road from Standing Bear and just camp. Take a zero yesterday. But we are hitting it hard now. We got 30 miles to Hot Springs where the family's gonna be. I can't wait. Ari, I miss you so much. I love you, baby. We'll see you in three days. It will be a glorious time. Yeah, we're getting a cabin in Hot Springs, spending time with the family. And then it's really time to kick out some miles till trail days. I mean, we're all feeling great though. We've all got our legs on us. And I think we're gonna be rocking them out from this day forward. So, oh, Standing Bear Hostel. Place is fantastic. I give it fucking five spears out of five because it, those people are awesome. You know, they're not assholes. It's all based on the honor base system. You write down what you get. They have a full resupply. They have showers, hot meals. I even invented a meal, all right? Called the Fat Boy. And the guy sold the shit out of it. It's a piece of uh, big ass chicken thigh with a chicken leg, hamburger, rice, and veggies, and I mean, the whole nines, man. It was great. But yeah, Standing Bear Hospital, hostel. You guys are freaking awesome. We love y'all. And we probably be back be back just to visit. Because this place is not that far from St. Louis, so from our area. Yeah, just chilling. Swept by this creek last night. Getting ready to roll up a mountain. We got seven miles uphill today. It's gonna be a beast. Yeah, yep, the family's already headed. Chris and Canada are up taking craps. Phoenix is doing something, being a bird of prey. Can't say enough good things about the Standing Bear Hostel though, man. Awesome people. Five spears out of five, most definitely. All right, people. Got to get going. Got to get moving. Peace. All right, people. Day 35. Look at this thing. Of, of radio high, high, I think it's called a BAR, I think. Something to do with high frequencies is for aviation. It's pretty cool though. Let's go get the fucking view of the day here, folks. Let's go check it. This is the view of the day. Beautiful. On top of Snowbird Peak. Hell yeah. Finally some views again. Damn, look at that. That's where we came from. Damn, son. Hell yeah. This is absolutely gorgeous. Fucking beautiful. Yeah. Use this to exactly sure. I'll have to look it up. Alright people. That was a hell of a climb up that hill. I think it's about 5.2 all the way up. 5.2 miles. Straight up. That damn mountain. This is what you get to see. Get to the top. I think I want to chill, eat some lunch. I'll chill in a little bit. Some beautiful views from on top of Snowbird Peak. Look at that 
function over there is called a VOR. It's a variable operation radio telescope, I think, or something like that. Probably completely wrong. Military planes and jets use that as another form of um, navigation. Phoenix, you made it. Do you see Chris up there? Have you seen Chris? Oh, it's smoke. I know. I already forgot about that bitch of the walk. Yeah. I got a guy here named Too Many, and uh, he was just telling me about why he's here, and I think it's a damn good uh, cause, and I just wanted y'all to hear this from him. So, uh, 22 vets every day kill themselves to PTSD, uh, and uh, so I'm walking 100 miles for uh, 22 individual families. I walk 100 miles with a placard on my pack, and at the end of the 100 miles, I'll take that placard off and uh, give it to, uh, or send it uh, with a handwritten note back to the mom or dad, and uh, let them know we appreciate the service of their loved one, and that uh, son or daughter has not been forgotten. So uh, I'm from OperationCreekside.org. Uh, we uh, send care packages uh, all over the world to deploy troops, and that's what we usually do. Uh, that's our main focus. But uh, we're helping another nonprofit group, which is called 22 Too Many. And uh, so we're just trying to recognize the vets and keeping it aware uh, out on the trail that there's a lot of vets that need help with their PTSD. And, uh, so we're here to serve and add value to others and help them uh, in any way we can. We do four PTSD retreats a year out in California. And uh, so uh, we're all about helping vets. So uh, we appreciate uh, uh, the time that you gave us to uh, talk our and give our uh, story. And uh, just be aware that uh, if you know a vet, please call, text. Just uh, reach out to them and let them know that you love them and you care about them and uh, you're there for them 24-7. Hell yeah. Thanks. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Who are you hiking this 100 miles for? Um, hiking for a Marine. Uh, maybe you can see him on my flagger. Sergeant Daniel Seidels, United States Marine Corps. Yes, sir. Looks like he's in Afghanistan right there. Yeah. Krapistan he, is... He, either there or, or maybe he was on a high adventure... Uh, uh, journey there somewhere out in Colorado. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> Could be. It looked like familiar garb, though. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does have a garb. <clears throat> but I thank you, man, and uh, thanks for letting me get this on recording, and thanks for what you're doing out here, man. It's good stuff. Guys, this is absolutely spectacular. Look at this. It's the whole hillside of these purple and white flowers. Yep, you don't get this from the couch, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta get out here and check this out yourself. The smell is amazing coming down this hill. It's wonderful. Look at that. It's all the way up. Just everywhere. Such beauty. I love you, AT. I love you, AT. Yeah. Alright, people, gotta hike.